Hi there. My name's Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onsite News Update for the second week of June 2020, where we bring you an update of the most recent construction industry news for the Middle East region. Well, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch our weekly updates and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, in Dubai, the Hassan Seawater Reverse Osmosis Plant project has been retended by the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, DWA. Saeed Mohammed Al Taher, Managing Director and CEO of DWA, explained that the 120 million gallon per day project is the utility firm's first project based on the independent water producer, IWP model. DWA adopted the IWP procurement model for the desalination plant following the success of the independent power producer model for the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park project. He also stated that the plant would use the most efficient and reliable technologies to support DEWA's water network to ensure sustainable water supply. Well, Hirat University has announced that it has awarded the interior fit-out uh, contract for its new campus in Dubai Knowledge Park to Khan Sahib Civil Engineering. Here at Watt University Dubai said that the tender process, which followed public procurement guidelines, started in mid-2019 with the contract being finalised and awarded in April 2020. Jones Lang LaSalle, JLL, is the appointed project manager for the scheme. The statement said that the unique features of the campus include a dedicated student hub, social learning spaces, an engaging library with study skills spaces, and provision for a maths gym for math support, and a central student services centre for student administrations. In Abu Dhabi, a contract worth 54.4 million US dollars has been awarded to Golf Contractors Company, GCC, by the Jubal Island Investment Company for the infrastructure works for the 1.36 billion US dollar Jubal Island project in Abu Dhabi. The works are part of an 18-month contract to complete the infrastructure required for the remaining residential villages within phase one of the project at Nad Al Dhabi, Saif Al Jubal and Al Ain Al Maha. The scope of GCC's contract comprises the construction of over 47 kilometers of internal roads for the project. The infrastructure development includes electricity, water, sewerage, irrigation, telecom and gas networks as well as street lighting, and these are all part of GCC's contract scope. Overall, infrastructural works on Jabal Island are said to amount to approximately 163.3 million US dollars, and JIIC has confirmed that 108.9 million US dollars worth of works are already underway. Well, Khalifa Industrial Zone Abu Dhabi has broken ground on its new dedicated truck plaza. It will take shape in the industrial zone and will occupy an area of more than 87,000 square meters. The facility aims to cater to the needs of workers and visitors and will boast refueling and rest facilities. According to a statement from Kizad, the facility will include the first of its kind dedicated ad hoc distribution service station for trucks comprising of two main canopies and six diesel bay canopies. In addition, it will host a community centre with 275 shaded truck, bus and car parking spaces, as well as several retail outlets including the convenience store, restaurants, a car care service and a mosque. Well, the Al Mujand Group and MediClinic Middle East have inked a deal to set up a 200-bed hospital in Jeddah. The 800,000 square meter project will take shape on King Abdulaziz Road in the northern part of Jeddah and is expected to cost 266 million US dollars. As per the terms of the deal, MediClinic Middle East will manage the hospital and support the Al Mujand Group with expertise and advisory services in planning, design and construction. The eighth floor hospital will be delivered in line with international standards and is said to offer comprehensive inpatient and outpatient services. Well, Stantec, the leading international professional services company in the design and consulting sector, said that the consortium led by their company has won a contract from the Egyptian holding company for water and wastewater, HCWW, for the Fayoum Wastewater 
expansion program. According to a statement from Stantec, the deal will see the firm act as the project implementation support and contract supervision consultant to manage the large-scale construction program for the expansion of wastewater treatment, water reuse capabilities and the system's sewerage network. Well, the Fayum wastewater expansion program is worth 508 million US dollars and is being financed by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development and co-financed by the European Investment Bank, the European Union's Neighbourhood Investment Facility and the Egyptian government. Well, the past three months have been a difficult time for all of us in business, not just the construction sector. And while it may seem that the business slowed at this time, it's comforting to understand that during the past three months of March, April and May, over 180 construction projects worth 13 billion US dollars have been awarded to contractors throughout the GCC region, according to the detailed project tracking reports from Ventures Onsite. Ventures Onsite tracks projects from concept to completion to ensure all subscribers to their service remain up to date with the latest construction industry intelligence. Well, some of the projects awarded in the past three months include the expansion of Jubal IWPP Phase 3, Package 3A in Saudi Arabia, the Innovation Hub and Park in Abu Dhabi in the UAE, the Saudi Housing Development Program in Medina Province, the Tilal Giwan Island Project Buildings and Landscaping Works in Qatar, the Al Jaf Gardens for Casa Al Jaf in the UAE, and the Quetafan Island La Salle's Phase 1 Water Park Project Package 3 in Qatar. Well, these are just a few of the projects that have been awarded in the past three months and we would be very pleased to help you keep track of all projects in your region here at Ventures Onsite. You'll find a link in the description below for you to send us your details and one of our team will be in touch with you soon. Well, that's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment in the section below so that we can help you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures Onsite Live.